Hello there, subscribers. I'm Black Bright News, and um, yes, I'm sure you know who I am by now. And I came across a video where somebody sent it to me today, and I don't know who the person is. You probably know, or one of you might know, but I just found him to be quite provocative. Now, I know this um, political myth about um, white supremacy, um, not even even white supremacy, but white genocide and the replacement theory and there's another term that they call the white extinction and there's this notion that um, white people are disappearing well not even disappearing they are being overtaken by immigrants whether it's Jews whether it's Muslims whether it's blacks or whatever and despite the statistics saying that 82% of Britain, England and Wales is white, they still come out with this propaganda, prov provocative propaganda. Now, they're referring to Tower Hamlets, one area in London where the white population there is 22%. They also mention certain places of Luton but Luton is 45% white. So there's no real kudos, but to use the word genocide minimizes the atrocities that have gone on around the world, which I'll share with you. Anyway, I'm just going to give you a brief insight to what this gentleman is saying. become a minority. In our own country, all 20th century, well before 2015 uh, for the younger people that I um, be genocide and I'm backed up again by the United Nations definition on genocide which right now they have lost their right to exist as a culture and a race in their own country this is what's happened in a, an incredibly short period of time and it started from a small base now that small base trying to do something about it, but we are not helped by our own people who are running our government and running our country and running our education and run. But we're not joking. We are trying to do something about it, but our government, the European Union, the United Nations, they are intent on ripping our country and our culture out from under our feet. And it is so important that we are not allow allowing ourselves to be called a racist if we stand up and say i want to protect my country i want to protect my culture i want to protect my race you are the racist because of what you are doing is the probably the most evil the criminal racism carried out in the history of mankind you have deliberately reduced an indigenous people to servitude they are the racist them anyway I told you I'd give you a little bit, but just so you have some idea. So I'm going to resort to my notes because I think it is. I prefer to just keep it brief, short and sweet. It's late. So there's this white replacement theory, white genocide, white extinction. Um, the white that gentleman, whoever he is, is saying that the British, the white British are becoming fast becoming a minority. He's actually saying they're a minority now, which we know it's not true. The statistics prove otherwise, and that is fact. So the definition, which he was going to say of genocide by the UN Convention is, genocide means any of the acts committed with intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethical or religious group ethical so ethnic anyway and deliberately inflicting on that group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part now how can people moving out of tower hamlets because immigrants are moving in be considered genocide it's a mockery it's minimizing the atrocities that have happened throughout the world. He claims that white Brits are being forced out 
but are they disappearing because some of them have gone missing? Is it just because out of choice they just want to go abroad? I mean, look how many Brits are abroad. They don't think about how many um, how many countries they're invading or they're living in. Look how many of them are living in the Caribbean. Look how many of them are living in Spain, living up in Australia, living up in Greece, living up in Africa, living up all over the world. Oh, no, they don't think about them. They worry about the one the, 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 the people who are here and focusing on the few that they see and making a big deal about it. And I have to say few because 6% are Asian of the population, 3% are black. I think it said um, another 2% are um, mixed and a 0.9% is other but 82% white. So, um, what else have I got here? How can anyone compare Brits voluntarily moving from an area because they don't want to be amongst foreigners? Genocide. It makes a mockery of the genocide in Rwanda, where between 491,000 and 800,000 Tutsi and moderate Hutsis was Hutus was killed. No one is killing off white Brits. He says they are being forced out, but they could stay if they wanted to. The people who have been killed in the genocide, they didn't have a choice. They were rounded up and killed. He seems to be implying that through immigration, the government is deliberately inflicting on white Brits conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, i.e. forcing them to move out or overthrowing them by um, allowing all these immigrants to come in and therefore destroying them, in, qu in, in quotes. However, there is no physical destruction taking place. Genocide is synonymous with death, not moving out of one cushy place into another. Using the word genocide is deliberately provocative. It trivialises the transatlantic slave trade from 1450s to 1860s, where 12 million Africans were transported and 2 million died. Um, the, the white replacement theory makes a mockery of the Herero genocide in 1904 to 1907, where soldiers exterminated four-fifths of the population. What about the 1830s genocide of the Native Americans, where 50% of Cherokee Indians died in the Trail of Tears? What about the Armenian genocide in 1915, where 1 1.5 million were annihilated? What about the genocide in China, Mao Tse Tung's Cultural Revolution in 1949, that destroyed the agricultural system, where 27 million people starved to death? And then we have the Bosnia and Herzegovina um, genocide in 1992, where 200,000 were murdered and 2 million became refugees. Then the genocide in Rwanda in 1994, where 800,000 had been killed. The Darfur region of West Sudan in 2003, where 400,000 were killed. Cambodia in 1975 to 1979, where 25% of the country died from starvation. The Holocaust, which took the lives of over 6 million Jews. The rape of Nanking, where 300,000 out of 600,000 were murdered. 20,000 women raped and then murdered. The genocide that took place in Burma, Ethiopia, South Sudan and Syria. The list goes on. The common theme with these genocides were slaughter and death. How can that gentleman compare white Brits moving out of one area into another with genocide? How could he have the audacity to call the fact that a small representation of white people in Tower Hamlets genocide when no one has gone out and killed them? 
The white extension theory is provocative propaganda, unnecessary, it causes discord, it's destructive, and it's untrue. It's a political myth based on pseudoscience, which is no science at all. So I'm sure I'm going to get a backlash from this, but hey, I'm putting it out there. And that's all for now. Bye bye.